Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Chrissy and Zena, and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Zena's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give her while we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Chrissy is using a regular six foot web training leash and she's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand, leaving her left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Zena has been fitted with her own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Zena is seated nicely on Chrissy's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first command they're going to demonstrate is healing, which is proper walking on a leash. Chrissy and Zena take off doing that now. The command you want to use for this is Zena heal, and then you just start walking and she'll fall right in line on your left hand side. And we've also gone ahead and incorporated our automatic sit, as you see right there. Anytime Chrissy stops her feet, Zena will sit. Now it's important when you're healing Zena that she walks nicely at your pace without trying to pull ahead or lag behind. If she does attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, you say no, give a tug and let go correction to that training collar, repeat the command to heal, and then start walking again. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is our stay command, which is a hand and voice command. Chrissy will use the open flat of her left palm and inch herself from Zena's muzzle and the one word command to stay. She then walks out to the end of the training leash. Now this is a great exercise to build up self-control in Xena. You can start practicing this one at a low increment of about a minute's time and work your way up in increments till you get to about three minutes. And when Chrissy returns back to Xena, she's going to walk all the way around her, providing an added distraction as she goes behind, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Xena holds that sit-stay throughout, Chrissy gives her some praise, and then heals her right out of it. And we'll show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. As they're healing around, Chrissy stops her feet, Zena sits, and then she heals her out of it. Stay. And she gives her the stay again, which is just her hand in front of the muzzle and the one order command to stay. Out to the end of the leash, and this time she'll give her a minute to hold it, and then she'll demonstrate the come or recall command. She calls her in using her name, Zena gets up, comes right into Chrissy, sits in front, and then we have an exercise called the finish. After she's done scratching herself, Chrissy's going to heal her right around the back of her and get her right back to that proper left hand side heel position, and she'll sit. And she'll demonstrate that recall one more time, she has her in a sit, gives her a stay, out to the end of the leash, calls her in, she's going to come in, sit right in front, get a little praise. And then the finish, Chrissy's going to heal her right around the back of her and right back to that left hand side heel position and she sits. That's a good time to remind you you want to practice all your commands with Xena about 15 to 20 minutes a day. It helps to keep the commands fresh in her mind. You can practice inside or outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine with her. Next we're going to be showing you our down commands. The first is down from a heel position. Chrissy will use the open flat of her left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. She gives her a stay, walks back out to the end of that training leash. Now this is another good exercise to build up that self-control in Xena. This one you can start practicing at about three minutes time and work your way up in increments till you get to about five minutes. Now as Chrissy returns back to Xena, she's going to walk all the way around her as she did on the sit stay and right back to that left hand side heel position. Zena holds that down throughout until Chrissy tells her to heal and then gets up and walks right alongside her. We'll show you that down again when they come back around. Now you see Zena's doing very well, but if for any reason she doesn't respond to one of your commands, it's always important to follow through. So the first word out of your mouth would always be no, followed by a tug and let go correction, and then you're going to repeat the command you've given her. And you see Chrissy gave her a down again and back out to the end of that training leash. And this time she'll demonstrate that come or recall command right out of the down position. Calls her in, Zena gets right up, comes in, shakes off the dirt, and then sits nicely right in front. And then the finish, Chrissy's going to heal her right around the back of her and right back to that left hand side heel position and she sits nicely. We'll give them a second to get lined up for our final command which is down from a distance. This is going to be the down from a distance. You're going to have her in a sit, give her a stay, walk out to the end of your leash. Now this is the only time you use your right hand to give the command, and Chrissy will drop her into a down from the end of a training leash. Excellent. Once again, she's going to return back to Zena by walking all the way around her. 
to get herself right back to that proper left-hand side heel position. All right, we've demonstrated for you the obedience commands we've worked on with Zena here at school. It's a pleasure working with Zena, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.